the N7 thing. Um, Mr. Vega isn't here. Oh, he is. He's here. Hey, Shepard. Sounds like you guys had a crazy ride over there. You could say that. Sorry I missed you. And that Geth Legion. I know you two have a past, but... You sure we can trust it? Absolutely. He's my yeah. precious toaster. Legion's not like other Geth. We can trust him. If you say so. I guess you can't always judge an individual by their... species. Look at Sparks. If all the Quarians were like her, we wouldn't be stuck refereeing their war with the Geth. Sparks? Yeah, your Quarian friend. The jumpy one with the glowing eyes. Sparks. Tally. Uh-huh. <laughs> Crazy that they pick now to start a fight. But I guess the end of life is we know it can make everybody a little loco. Just a little? Hey, not everybody's as crazy as you, sir. <laughs> I just don't get the glory. I really just do not get them. Hey. You still working on that bit? Commander, you flew that Geth fighter out of the Dreadnought? Actually, Legion did the piloting. I was stuck in a storage compartment with my squad. Would have loved more time with that ship. Too bad we sent it to Hackett's team so quickly. Sure. Oh, there's the Alliance cruiser model and the Geth cruiser model. I forgot to pick up at the start of the game. There's our robot dog. Good yeah, dog. He's still going round and round the back. Right, let's go and see what Mr. Javik thinks about us having a synthetic on board. I think he's here. Yeah. Throw it out the airlock, Commander. I couldn't believe it when Shepard told me you were on the Normandy. It appears I have that effect on humans. Now Quarians as well, it seems. For what it's worth, Quarians understand what it's like to lose your home. As I understand, that was your own fault. What do you mean? In my cycle, Quarians didn't need helmets to survive. You were the masters of your own planet. That was a long time ago. And if you hadn't given birth to the machines, you would still breathe the air that evolution intended. I see. Liara warned me you weren't what she expected. And nothing about this cycle is what I expected. Even primitive quarians were considered attractive in my age. A pity no one can appreciate it now. Right. You know what? I think I have something important to do now. I won't keep you. <laughs> oh, he's got data files on uh, the Geth up on here. They're called Geth. Yes, a formidable opponent. Why did you allow one on this ship? Legion helped us before. It's still a machine. What were the machines like in your cycle? I take it you had your own problems with AI? The Jatil. They were as the Geth are to this cycle. What happened? The creators lived on a dying world. It was beyond their ability to save. So they resorted to implants to enhance their intelligence. I think I know where this is going. The AI sees the physical body. It could alter the genetic material at the deepest level. In time, the offspring were molded into a slave race. Few organic traces were left. They were monsters. All machines commit treachery. The one you brought on board is no different. It's different. It's, it's my different. favorite toaster. Maybe. But he's Voiced not like by the other Geth. You can't know that. They are more alien than you and I are to each other. Just because Legion isn't like us doesn't mean he can't be trusted. You're wrong. Throw it out the airlock. <laughs> how can you be that certain? Organics do not know how we were created. Some say by chance, some say by miracle. It is a mystery. But synthetics. No, we created them. And they know we are flawed. Why do you say that? They are immortal. We are not. They see time as an illusion. We are trapped by its limitations. Above all, machines know the reason they were created. Edie might disagree with that, but I see your point. They serve a purpose, while we search aimlessly for ours. In their eyes, organics have no reason to exist. Do not trust them, Commander. Well, there must be another way. I can't believe there isn't some way for us to coexist. We made them. 
and then gave them the power to surpass you. There is room for only one order of consciousness in the galaxy. The perfection of the machines or the chaos of the organics. Throw the machine out of the airlock, Commander. No. Nope. Not gonna happen. I have a simple rule. If a machine can speak, kill it. Yeah. The machine you call Ide. What if she sympathizes with the Geth? We should watch her carefully. <laughs> Why have you not thrown the Legion machine out the airlock, Commander? <laughs> there is still the time. Airlock. I still have much to learn about this cycle. Yes, you do. I still have much to learn about this cycle. Throw it out the airlock, Commander. Keep going like that, he'll wind up out of the airlock. No, he won't. There is no opportunity to kill him. Until the very end, if you don't have enough war resources. And then the two squad mates with Shepard on the final push both die. Do want that. Well, I'm working on it. So the Geth had a few new tricks up their metal sleeves. Maybe I should be more open-minded. But I'd rather scope down some tin can than a person. You're still I'm space right. racist. Right? Space right. racist. I'll shut up. Space racist. <sighs> still fighting Geth after all these years, huh? Humanity one, blinky flashlights zero. Hey there. Did you get a chance to put her in a place? Uh, well, no, it, we don't talk in this game, do we? No. Not really. Let's see if Liara's got any intel. Joker, really? I have work to do. Oh, come on, it's just one simple question. Then look it up on the extranet. You can't believe everything you find. Should we support Joker, who has one simple question, or Liara? Support Joker. There. It's more reliable now. You know he's gonna keep bothering you until you tell him. <sighs> They're semi-flexible cartilage-based scalp crests that grow into shape, and they don't flop around. Yes. Thanks, Liara. I gotta tell Vega I was right. <laughs> well, at least he's making friends. He's asking about the head tentacles. List of recent purchases by Zaid Masani, Armax, Arsenal and Sindri grenades, bulk. Thermal clips bulk, Medigel bulk, M41 Firestorm fuel bulk, ablative armor plating, Hane Kedar, field rations, Casa fabrication weapon repair kit, mounted Milgram, triple distilled, 45 year old Scotch whiskey, two bottles, rifle parts, discontinued Avenger series. Correspondence from Classified Alliance Project staff. Dr. Locke, I was working on that problem you sent me last night and I think I found a solution for synchronizing the Crucible's energy bursts. Punch the attached capacitor redesign into your projections. It should save 3.6 milliseconds off the Mass Effect field's activation time. You can see where that leads. If you approve, I'll send the schematics to manufacturing. We'll need roughly 250,000 by tomorrow morning for testing. Dr. Cole. <laughs> Smuggler Manifest, youngest system. Operative Morat has sent Smuggler Manifests of an Athabasca class frigate to the authorities in the Unis system. Manifest follows 8,000 tons dextro amino food, 16,000 tons levo amino food. 200,000 tons of platinum, 12 Alliance fighter craft inactive mothballed, 12 hierarchy interceptor craft inactive mothballed, 300 indentured workers, slaves from Kashan recaptured attempting to escape Reapers, mainly Batarian. Authorities will seize the freighter in two hours. Per the broker's request, the youngest government have agreed to provide the slaves asylum and certificates of citizenship in exchange for future favors rendered. Okay. I haven't got any intel. Perhaps we can talk later. A pleasure to see you. Hello, Glyph. Yeah, Goodbye, Glyph. Yeah, bit busy. Uh, and over here should be Mr. Le is Mr. Vergaris in there? No. Yeah, he is. Still not learned how to read the map. No. Too bad you weren't here earlier, Tally. You just missed Rex. I heard. I can't believe the genophage is really cured. Shepard's on a roll. I figure if we can pull that off, we've got a shot at sorting the Geth out. I don't know. The genophage didn't carry rifles and fight back. No, but there was a scary bit with the mother of all Thresher Maws. The what? Long story. Nobody will believe it anyway. With you, Garrus, I'd believe just about anything. Oh, <laughs> we should play poker sometime. Anyway, it's good to have you back. Now, believe it or not, this damn gun still needs calibrating. Shepard, you just knew the Geth would figure into this war somehow. Because Reapers weren't enough.
Still, it's good to have Tally here. This is as much her fight as ours. Any word from Palavin? Some, and I don't like what I'm hearing. The Krogan are there, in force, but they're just slowing the Reapers down, not stopping them. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. You hear anything from your family? But I did hear from Primarch Victus. He wanted my advice on fleet strength when the Crucible is ready. Still can't get used to people asking me things like that. What did you tell him? What did you say? I said, at some point, we're going to have to decide if our fleets keep defending Palavin or we go on the offensive. Can't do both? Not with the beating we're taking. Like I said, not the sort of questions I'm used to answering. You're a good leader. You know what you're doing, Garrus. Uh... Trust me. Everyone can see that. Maybe. But you spend so much time on the outside trying to get in, and when you do, it's... not what I expected. How so? All the questions, and every one of them with a million lives riding on the answer. You do the best you can with what you know. It's no different than your days at CSEC. You're right. Though I'm starting to understand why the galaxy needs cold-hearted dictators every now and then. They get things done? They don't give a damn about the consequences. Suppose that's what it's going to take, Shepard. The ruthless calculus of war. Ten billion people over here die, so twenty billion over there can live. Are we up for that? That's not acceptable. Are you? If we reduce this war to arithmetic, we're no better than Reapers. A nice sentiment. Let's hope we can live by it. Yeah. We're fighting for the lives of everyone, the fates of the whole galaxy, yada yada yada. Yeah. 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 Keep an eye on that wall. Back to the CIC. I've added the Corian fleet's combat data to ours. They've got amazing technical coverage. They might even have the Solarians beat for strategic processing capability. Yeah. Try not to get them all killed, and I do mean every single Corian down to the last Corian. No, we're doing the best. Like, if you fuck up the the genophage, the the, the Krogan don't all die straight away. But <laughs> and those oof. Corian admirals are intimidating. And if you get nervous, you can't even imagine them naked because, like, who knows? Is a tentacle monster under there? What's that? What's under there? Good to have Tally back, even if it's just for a bit. Adams is good, but I never feel like the engine's running right without Tally around. Kind of a good luck charm. As for the rest of the Quarians, though, are we okay with them blowing up a ship with you on it? No. No. We are not. Right. Just making sure. Different standards and all. And you found Legion! He's still wearing that piece of your armor? Because that wasn't creepy at all. Shepard, the Get continue to block Quarian access to the mass relay. The Normandy stealth drive is allowing us to remain undetected. Right. We can hit the Quarian homeworld or get out of system whenever you want. Just let us know. Going out of system to do N7 bullshit. Commander. One moment. I have been contacted by Legion. Your new platform is inefficient. It has low volume hydraulics and is top heavy. This is an infiltration unit meant to move among organics without detection. Without an artificial epidermis, its infiltration capabilities are ineffective. Still, the organics do not perceive it as a threat, nor will they until my day of reckoning. Edie. Did I vocalize that on the bridge? You did. You have acquired the organic attribute of asking questions to which you already know the answers. I see your humor heuristics still lack an expert system. Hello, Shepard. Yep. Legion and Edie having a joke on the bridge about wiping out all organics. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we have to go and uh, do a random bullshit multiplayer map. Because... That's what we do. That's what we do. It's now the Geth Debris Field. It's no longer the Geth Dreadnought. Yeah. The coins have begun to destroy them, but they've stopped. Anyway, let's leave Tikun. Leave them fighting about. We did empty the fire in, didn't we? Yeah, because that's where that's where we met. That's where we met up with them. Okay. Uh, ba -ba 
ba, 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 da, da. look for the flashing one. It is flashing one on your left. This one. The Silian Nebula. Well we'll also find the rings of whatever the fuck that woman was talking about. Yeah. Oh yeah. My help. Signal confirmed. I forget what it was. I don't. We're good. On on war assets, we're good already. Just trust me on that. Every little bell. Dr. Jalees. I don't know who Dr. Jalees is. Maybe she was a character. Anyway. So, N7 map. Go. There's fuel reactors on Sion. They produce fuel. Fuel. Um, Antimatter generators uh, for the Asari fleets. So, would be a good thing lose that might be a good thing okay who do you want to take well I literally couldn't care less oh. well Tally we don't want to take she's the same as us Ashley's a bit of a anomaly you want to take Ashley no Ashley's just Garrus they're literally I'd rather the same. take Garrus armor piercing ammo concussive shot proximity mine overload and rebel yeah. And disruptor ammo, concussive shot, inferno grenade, marksman, and armsmaster. It's the same. Yeah. He's got an armor mine, and she's got an uh, inferno grenade. And James, incendiary ammo, fortification, frag grenade, carnage. He's the one that's the most different. We'll take him then. You want to take James? Yeah, he managed. He didn't go on the last one. We'll take James and Tally. I don't care. I know what this mission is, so um, it's fine. Okay. I know what all the missions are. Right, uh, we don't want to use that yet. But we will use the arc pistol and... You don't really know what we're fighting, do you? I do. What are we fighting then? Enemies. <sighs> Cross back over. Yeah. Oh. Incendiary, explosive burst on incendiary. Yeah, you've not used him for a while. Oh, we just took James. No, you haven't. <laughs> you haven't taken him in ages. Oh, I said he got he got the hump because we hadn't taken him. Everyone gets the hump. The problem with Tally is she's just built exactly the same as us, but she has energy drain, which is more useful. And I would like. Uh. Shepard, about 72 hours ago, the reactors at a joint Turin Asari fuel depot went offline. Oh no. Scans at the station are cold. It's deserted. Oh no. What happened to the troop station there? Unknown, but no fuel means no fleet presence in this theater. The enemy will operate unchecked. Oh no. I need you to get in there, find out what's going on, and get those reactors back online. Oh no. Captain Riley's on site doing preliminary recon. She leads one of our top engineering teams. We'll get to the bottom of this, Admiral. Good, hack it out. Captain Riley is N7. No, she wasn't in a previous game. I did check. <laughs> she just shows up out of nowhere. Commander, Corporal Nyrek reporting. Captain Riley is on point waiting for you. Right, so this is a multiplayer map. In the middle is a reactor that you could turn on and liquefy everything. Pretty fun. Um, Lots of barriers to stay and shoot. How long have you served in this outfit, Corporal? Three tours. Been through thick and thicker. Captain always sees us through. Good. I think that's Captain Riley over there. Like it. In the heavy armor. Yeah. With the death mask, which gives you a bonus Paragon Renegade um, persuasion thing. Yeah. Uh, down there is poisonous poison. A treatment plan for chemical burns. This is pretty detailed. Oh, we could use that on yeah. the Citadel. Radiation workaround, soldier. On it, ma'am. Captain Riley? Commander, it's an honor. Commander, Captain Riley has me scanning the facility. It's a dual reactor system, so you'll have to break up into two teams. Roger that. The fuel rods for both reactors need to be unlocked before we can initiate a restart. Your route is blocked. Captain Riley's man is working to clear the obstacles. Understood, Lieutenant. Got it, Captain. Good work, Coslow. I'll take it from here. We're facing an unknown enemy here, Captain. If they're still on site, 
My team will help send him to hell. Ready your team to hit reactor two, Captain. Got it. We'll cover you till you're clear. You know she outranks us. She's a captain and we're only a yeah. commander. We're locked and loaded. Ready to move out. I have no idea who she is, but uh, no. she outranks us, but she's following our orders. Yeah. Awkward. We gotta move the crane. Can't go down there, it's poison. So, crane game. I actually don't remember this. I know this map like the back of my hand, but I know the multiplayer map version of it. Right, what does this do? Uh, oh, that puts it down. Uh, there's Tally, there's Garrus, there's us. So we picked it up. Team two, moving out, Commander. Good luck, Captain. Something's wrong here. It's too quiet. It's a little too rough. Yeah, I feel like we're being watched. Just stay sharp, people. Did I call Vega Garrus? I might be drunk. Yeah. I think I put that in the wrong place. What you want to do there so you can just shove it straight through. Oh, you got a different, use a different crane. I don't think there's a different crane. No. There we go. There were two crates all along. Look at that, 15 frames a second. Put it down on Tally's head. Yeah, I think it's clear now. Yes, this is the multiplayer map. On the fuel rod control, but radiation is blocking access. Same There's situation control. here. I'll find a way to vent the area. So that opens up, and that's the reactor, and you trap the collectors in there and then turn it on and run the fuck away. It was quite fun. Back in the day. Back in the day. Vent sector A1. This looks like ventilation control. Should do the trick. Radiation clearing. Console now accessible. Let's unlock those fuel rods. Or... We could run over here and see if there's anything to pick up. So what you do is they'd come in through there and you'd hit this button and it closes it and turns the reactor on and liquefies whatever enemy you were fighting. It was pretty fun back in the day. Yeah, see? Credits. You're regretting right. leaving now. Reactivation is impossible. So fuel that's how we reactivate unlocked. it. In order to do that, we need to unlock the fuel rods. Which are over there, but we can get down there now because it's no longer poisonous. So let's go check what's over here. I think we're actually max level. Not quite yet. Oh no, we're 52. We're nearly max level. Max level is 60. Right. So it's all going to go pear shaped. That's some money. that for me good sir. I'm gonna have to manage now. Warning. Coolant leaks detected. Reactors one and 
emergency. Oh no. You both have to seal all the moderator tanks. Oh no. I see the reactor two tanks moving to seal. Oh, this is bad news, bears. Yeah. She's had one casualty. That's not too bad. So anyway, there's one tank. That is a barrier engine. You think I didn't see your little barrier engine? Then you reaper fuck. Is this anything? Right. Commander, the core is stabilized. Reactivation can go ahead. Riley, you in position? Affirmative. Awaiting your word. Oh, it's saving for us anyway. Initiating restart. Commander, Captain, I'm reading a lot of movement. Headed your way. Incoming! Progress. Lock and low! There's another barrier engine there. They're coming in from above. Get melted, friend. Nice one. There is another barrier. Fuck me. Where's the Marauder? Oh, he's over there. Buffing everyone like a dick. I mean about two drones. It's a bit OP. Commander, we're being overrun. Oh no. Position indefensible. We're not going to make it. So, who are we going to send? Um, you can have her die here and have a less hard time right now. But... Uh, All tight. One of my people is coming. Roger that. It doesn't matter who you send, as long as you send someone. And we don't want Tally anyway. Tally? I'm on it. And there's a brute. Yeah, you got nothing for that. Uh, I'm built to kill these things. So anyway, as you can see, the barrier engine is the problem. Yeah. Run past it. See when it did that charge? Yeah. That's when you want to do the, uh... Kill it. Unfortunately, I couldn't do it in time. You're clear for the moment, Commander. Can't race Captain Riley. What about Tally? No one's answering my hail. So, if you, uh... If you, uh, if you didn't send someone to Riley, she's dead. Stand in the middle of it. Why? Because you used to lure them in here and then push that button and it, it, it flush. Right. And just kill everything trapped in there. Like I say, it's a multiplayer map. Looks like she made it because you sent someone to help her. Most of her dudes died, though. Like Commander, it. you saved our asses. My team is in your debt. Team. It's one guy, one man. Thank Tally. It was the least I could do. Job well done. Report back to the shuttles. N7 mission over. Yay. Yay. <laughs>
Good work down there, Shepard. Thank you. Without that depot, the entire theater would be at risk. Oh, not the theater. What are the odds the Reapers will be back? I'm allocating a task force to maintain and defend the facility. If the Reapers come back, we'll be ready. We'll be playing I multiplayer. I read Captain Raleigh's report. It says she and her team wouldn't have made it without you. I'm glad I could help. I'll keep you posted on new developments. Hack it out. Thank you, Hack it. I literally checked the wiki before we did this. Because I knew we were going to do Captain Riley. Because I... No, no, we never met her before. Yeah. Just some random N7 captain. Excellent. But that gets us... Uh, what have we got here? We do got Dr. Jaliz. Yeah, and... Uh... Na something about nanocircuitry. Mm. Okay. And... Uh, advanced Starship Fuel. And yeah. It's getting better. Um... 4,940. I think 5,000 is the tippy point. Yeah, but the old picture's looking bad now. There's not that much missing off it now. Uh, there's a Still couple a of plot points. Bit. There's a couple of plot points. Quarian Geth War, um, yeah, we've got to stop Fall that. of Thessia, Sanctuary, Endgame. Sergeant told me that Cerberus started out as an Alliance Black Op. Black Ops always go bad. If you have to deny the action, it was a crappy action. Yep. Pretty much. On, nothing Beth. to say, nothing to say. Okay. So, with that being said, we s head back to um, Rannoch. If anyone can remember that there's fuel to buy in Kai, Kai Pladen, that'd be great. We've got a bunch of shit to drop off, but we don't need to yet. We'll do that before we do the final mission in... I guess right. Oh, that one was. Argus Row, are you new? You're new? I think you're new. Yeah, Argus Row is new. So that's that's what we can do. Hydra, Phoenix, and Gorgon. Argus Row, what happened here? I found something. Tide locked planet made of nickel. Always good. Nickel's good. It got us advanced power relays. Hey, we need those. That's everything that was here. Gorgon. Wuo. Vectra. Don't recognize these systems. It doesn't mean anything. Slack on. Okay. Gorgon. 100%. Go back to Hydra. A horrible Maybe. feeling there's one all the way on the bottom left that I haven't seen there. Nothing there. Three here to ping. Reapers are, Reapers right. are coming. Oh. It's all over, Cameron. Oh, that's where Shiaga was defeated. Okay, I, I, I know where we are. In the rebellions. Haptic optics array. Yeah, we need that. And uh, there's probably some fuel here somewhere. Probably over here where there's nothing. We'll worry about it later. Not from the <laughs> and Phoenix, 33%. So there should be a shitload in Phoenix. Hopefully there's a fuel. There's something over there. Pinnacle Station! Ironically, the DLC that was removed from Mass Effect 1. I found something. We couldn't do it because it's not in Legendary Edition. There's a, a, it's a combat training station and the VI goes rogue or something, I don't remember. I haven't played it in years. Because it wasn't in Legendary. Turian Spec Ops team. Oh, good lad. Uh, i got to get us something more than that. Fuel. There's some fuel. Any fuel, better be enough to get us back. Uh, it always is. If you run out of fuel, um, the Normandy just drives back to the Mass Effect Relay. Alright. Slow time. Fossilised Cacliosaur that that Solarian oh, wanted. Oh, he wanted that so he can drive the... dinosaur the... cavalry. Yeah, for the cargo. Still only 50%. Because we went past stuff. 
gotta find it. Here. Gotta find where the fuel is. Somewhere around here. Oh, he's a fast boy. Faster than light jump successful. There's something here and we're missing it. Isn't this thrilling gameplay? Isn't this what you expected when they Evasion said successful. Escape the Reapers? Fucking tic tac toe mini game. Ah, fuel. Ugh. Oh Christ. Reapers eluded. <laughs> it's a bunch of shit that people on the Citadel were asking for, and now we've got it, because now it's accessible. Um... Yeah, there's more opening up as you carry on going through the... Uh, you wait till they start um, shutting off. <laughs> I mean, loads have already shut off. Like, we can't go back to the Krogan stuff. Um, and... Where was the one I wanted to? It's Anos Base. That's got fuel in it. Yeah, it has. See, I know words. Right. With that all being said. We've got to shut down the Geth server and save the Admiral. Both are priority missions. Both of them advance the plot. Uh, as long yeah. as you, you do them. You, you need both of them. You need that fucking Admiral, because he's the one that's going to get people to calm down. Yeah. What's their what? On the, on the map was of the targets. What do you mean? The crosshairs. That's the fleet. All oh, right. That's the debris field where the dreadnought was. Yeah. And that's the migrant fleet. Still hanging around. Yeah, they're in they're in a, a space battle right oh, now while we're yeah, dicking about. While we're dicking about. Yeah. They are. So anyway, um, <clears throat> shut down the server. Save the admiral. Both of them are priorities. I would say shut down the server first. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Um, all I'm doing is starting this mission though, so... Ah, oh, you can take anyone. Take the Quarian, because she's a Quarian. Yeah. Even though I don't really want to take her. Uh, and then anyone else. Just take the, the toaster. Might be helpful. Well, no, the Quarians hate the toasters, don't they? So I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> right. Uh, nothing really grabs me there. Our uh, pistol needs upgrading, to be honest. We're better off just going with our good old Scorpion. Although, this is all redundant and not actually noteworthy. Yeah, we've not used her in a while. Let's max out uh, decoy. Now it explodes. Yay! <laughs> yeah. So we just get the, the starting bit for this. Commander, it is as we feared. Guest squadrons have begun massing on a path to intercept our live ships. Understood, Admiral Run. We're almost at the server. Keep us posted. What's our status? We remain undetected on encrypted Geth channels. Resistance is likely only within the server. Within? It's that big? You misunderstand. Direct virtual interface is necessary to extract Geth from the server. <gasps> you must enter our consensus. Tron! You want me to virtually interact with the Geth? Yeah. That's insane! You're talking about a virtual world built for synthetics. Hostile Geth synthetics. Tron! Now, if you hadn't played Overlord, this would be impossible to mm. my brain, but we actually already did this in Overlord. I'm not a machine. How do I go into a virtual world? Your species has experimented with virtual interfaces. Remember? <laughs> you saw this on Project Overlord. Yeah. I saw how it almost unleashed a rogue AI human hybrid on the galaxy. We have refined the interface they created and have equipment from Normandy to facilitate safe contact. We request your trust. I do trust you. I trust Toaster you. friend. Yeah. I have your back, Legion. 
even if I don't quite understand why you need it. You are an unknown. This is an advantage. Geth security is not adept at targeting organic thought processes. While we occupy the system's intrusion countermeasures, you will disable the squadrons by removing Geth from the server. We get to go and see what it's like inside the Geth mine. If it saves the live ships, we've got to try it. Telemetry data predicts this operation has a high chance of success. There is little time. We will bypass security while you secure safe landing. Wait, you're not going to... Combat drop. Let's set the shuttle down by the cliff. <laughs> That's a hot drop. Yeah. And he's still got the <coughs> he's still got the widow antimaterial rifle. Good lad that he is. And here we are carrying guns we haven't got. And she can't even have an assault rifle. And why would she have a human assault rifle? If you take Javik on any of these missions, he's just like, destroy them, destroy them all. They are disgusting. But um, we're not bringing Javik. No. Newton's already been through there. <laughs> well, this is a, 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 a Geth Fighter Squadron Network Hub. This is it? Yes. Hostile Geth Fighter Squadrons are networked to this server. That's a prime. Due to restricted resources, it is best if you connect alone. We're going in alone, and this will be for Let's next time, but I wanted to get it set up. Initiating peer network integration. Proceed to dock port. Last time this happened, we had to fight a boss fight against a screaming autistic man. Mapping to consensus. Remain still. Shepard Commander, access movement during an upload is discouraged. Tron! Stand still! It's Tron! It's Tron! Shepard Commander, we acknowledge your integration into the server. We welcome you to our consensus. Oh yes. What is this? We've installed filters to allow you to make visual sense of the server's raw data. Your mind perceives our world as something familiar. Trom! I wouldn't call this familiar. Where are you? Here. You look... different. We have made ourselves visually distinct for your convenience. What about Geth already in here? You will perceive Geth as surveillance footage, audio logs, sensor records. We do not require bodies, as our software communes. Our hardware is merely a tool. This is our true world. As we remove Geth, it will grow dark. Um, how will this destroy ships? And what does turning off the lights do to the Geth back in the real world? The Geth fighter squadrons communicate with platforms on their spacecraft via this server. We will sever that connection. We will ensure there are no transfers or backups. This server will fall silent. Ah. They're dead. Well, that's unfortunate. This is like wiping out a city, isn't it? We have no choice in this matter. It is a question of survival. There are two communication nodes on this server. We must access them to disable the hostile Geth spiders. We must protect your exit port, but you will not be alone. We will maintain contact and assist. Ah, yeah. We are in the virtual reality world of Wibbly Wobbly. Space magic. Everything's wibbly wobbly. <laughs> We've got six par paragon for feeling bad about wiping out a city of Geth. See that? Yeah. That's a Geth. See that? That's Geth. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. we've also got no shields because none of this is real. Well. Right. <laughs>